AT2 tube assembly. Tools required. Reversible drill, hammer, socket set, wrench set, razor knife, measuring tape, half inch masonry drill bit, quarter inch drill bit, five sixteenths hex driver bit, center punch, Measuring the tube. For mounting on pool deck, measure the width of your pool from one inside edge to the other inside edge. On the adjustable tube table guide, locate your pool width in a column A. Note the corresponding value of dimension C in column C. Now measure and mark dimension C on both smaller diameter tubes. Insert the smaller diameter tubes into the large diameter tubes up to the dimension C mark. The total length of the tube should be approximately equal to the corresponding value in column B. Bolting detail. Step 1. The four V-grooves running the length of each tube are designed to lessen drill bit movement while drilling holes. Start by holding the tubes in place. Use a quarter inch drill bit to drill a hole one inch from the end of the tube into the V-groove. Rotate the tube 90 degrees. Drill a second hole in the V groove at 3 inches. Rotate the tube another 90 degrees. Drill a second hole at 1 inch. Again, rotate the tube another 90 degrees and drill a second hole at 3 inches. Now, insert the bolts through the holes. You may have to type lightly on them with a hammer. There should be four bolts at each end of the middle tube. When all four bolts are in place, tighten the lock nuts with a wrench. Be careful not to over tighten the bolts. Be sure to use all eight bolts as directed to ensure a stiff tube. Failure to do so may cause sagging. Bolting detail, step two. Repeat this procedure for the remaining two bolts. The first set of holes will be at seven and a half inches, and the second at ten and a half.
Now, insert the bolts through the holes. You may have to type lightly on them with a hammer. There should be four bolts at each end of the middle tube. When all four bolts are in place, tighten the lock nuts with a wrench. Be careful not to over tighten the bolts. Be sure to use all eight bolts as directed to ensure a stiff tube. Failure to do so may cause sagging. Here is your finished bolting pattern. Hub detail. Insert the three inch hub into the end of the tube. Then secure it with two self tapping screws. Finish bolting.